Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you? Or are you working for money? It's the life, it's the life I need. Welcome to the Crypto Lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for that money. And guys, in this video, I am very excited to review Deep Cloud AI. But before I get to the content, I have to thank each and every one of you who've been watching my videos, liking, subscribing. Keep it up, guys. Without you guys, I won't have a channel. So I just have to bring that to your attention. I appreciate all of you. Now guys, why am I excited to talk about DCloud AI? First, let's take a step back and hear me out, okay? So if you guys notice history, any groundbreaking new technology that's been invented or introduced for the first time is not accessible to the vast majority of the public or the masses. So let's take example of um, the invention of flight, okay? The Wright brothers, when they invented the airplane, this was only accessible, that groundbreaking technology and transportation where people didn't have to like use horse and buggy, they didn't have to use trains, that was only limited to the hierarchies, whether that be governments or whether that be um, major institutions or mega corporations, okay? And then eventually as the technology went on, you know, 10 years, 20 years, that trickled down to the masses. So everybody uses commercial flight today. Same thing was, the same was true for the internet. Only government workers had access to the internet, guys. Now today, obviously, we all have access to the internet and we're so hyper-connected today and we all benefit from this now. Okay, guys? Also, when we look at something like a, um, a banking system where blockchain democratized this, everybody is essentially their own bank, okay? Now, guys, this project, Deep Cloud AI, is doing the same thing with cloud computing. Cloud computing right now is only accessible accessible to these mega corporation behemoths like you know Google Drive or iCloud the apples of the world or the Amazons or Alibaba but right now deep cloud is making this w the same way the same way blockchain technology is a distributed ledger technology this is going to be a distributed cloud computing technology in a decentralized environment Guys, this is not life-changing, but this is groundbreaking, world-changing news. On with the content. So what exactly is cloud computing? So uh, before we get to cloud computing, let's talk about cloud storage. I'm sure we all heard of cloud storage or we've used this or we are using cloud storage. So pretty much cloud storage is something where we are allowed to like save our, you know, any sort of data, whether that be pictures or Word document files or what have you onto the cloud or onto the internet or a remote server on the internet, right? So basically with cloud storage, you need um, space. But cloud computing is a little bit different. This requires processing power. So cloud storage holds and saves data. Cloud computing, guys, is used to complete, say, like digital tasks. So instead of just like using a server to only store space or files on there, just that alone, you, you, you're pretty much using processing power to get something done, right? So essentially, cloud computing is like a network of servers that manages, you know, it could store, um, it could also process data all on the internet rather than say just on your phone or computer and in my opinion guys cloud computing has plenty untapped po um, potential out there um, you know it could like allow smaller companies or people like us in this case we people could actually use this and not just companies as well so it allows us to like pretty much reach out to like a broader audience through a single app so that's cool as you can see right here they talk about leveling the playing field right so right here leveling the playing field so let's just read this so deep cloud ai an ai driven cloud computing infrastructure our goal is to democratize cloud computing and level the playing field for resource providers and application developers so guys let's take a look at their white paper and go a little bit more in depth of why deep cloud will be the next cloud computing of the future sorry not only is the blockchain technology cloud computing AI and sandboxing. This is crazy, guys. This is like four or five technologies 
combined into one. You know, you're taking benefits and uses out of each technology and building it into one infrastructure, one platform, guys. This really is groundbreaking revolutionary stuff. Guys, everything about this project, DCloud AI, is the future of the world. When you think of AI, artificial intelligence, that's the future. Democratizing cloud computing, guys. So democratizing is pretty much like making it accessible for everyone, okay? So that is big. And we're talking about the Web 3.0 and Internet of Things. Like, guys, this is crazy. Like, bringing all of these things together, this is just going to be an amazing project. I cannot stress this enough. I am very excited to get into this ICO, and I hope you are too and i hope this video will shed some light on what they are all about and how this technology is just going to really 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 change the world guys i know i sound like a broken record but that's pretty much what they're going to be doing let's dive into the white paper a bit and get a little bit more detailed information on deep cloud ai Okay guys, so here's the white paper and everybody out there who've been watching my videos for some time, you guys know we do not have to read a white paper word for word to know if this is a great ICO or a great project, okay? All we need to go by is the four to five fundamental keys to success of an ICO, which is a team, which is the roadmap, which is an MVP, which is the technology, and last but definitely not least, token metrics. But in this video, I'm actually going to try to describe a little bit here in the white paper to you guys, okay? So please bear with me i know i cover more blockchain infrastructures but cloud computing infrastructures are going to be just as big guys believe you me this area is just gonna this area is just going to blow up so let's just read this here so right here how does the platform work Okay, so let's just get right to it. So network resource providers. Network resource providers are the people who provide resources to the network and earn deep tokens. Network resource providers is required to stake or lock up a certain number of deep tokens to run the nodes and offer the services to the users who require them. This strategy encourages competitions uh, sorry, competitions among the network contributors. As deep cloud AI envision an enterprise graded service on our platform, the higher quality of the services of network resource providers, the higher their lockup scale and deep they will earn. That's pretty cool. Um, so they, they definitely are um, finding a way to give value to their tokens, right? So the thing what I notice, guys, in ICOs, it's like, okay, so obviously when we get the tokens, right, remind you, um, uh, sorry, when we get the tokens, mind you, we, we are not, we don't own a part of the company. We only have the use of the tokens and hoping that these tokens go up in value. And in order for a token to go up in value, it better have a real use case within the network. This definitely is going to bring value to the tokens, which is going to bring value to the actual users of the platform and the network in general. So let's go to network users. Network users. Um, application developers are the people who use our services on a deep cloud AI's platform by spending deep tokens. They are the main target audience. There is a large variety of services the platform provides such as database usage, software usage, and processing usage power. All of the customers will be provided with a customizable AI functions when utilizing the computing usage. That's pretty cool, guys. Listen, guys, artificial intelligence, okay? Imagine something where, like, you could talk to your computer like how I'm talking to you right now and understand every single thing. It's like talking to a human being. So imagine if you're in your car driving down the road and, you know, you just tell your 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 internet of things. Your your car could even be AI um, compatible, okay? And then you tell your car, hey, I'm not feeling too well. What should I do? The car says, well... Okay, Crypto Lifestyle, I know that you enjoy black coffee. There's a Starbucks five minutes away from you. And then on my computer database, it tells me where to go. Like the computer or the AI could actually talk to us like a human being and understand us like a human being. So this is going to give us far more intelligent results. Okay, guys, of whatever we're looking up for or researching for. So that's the benefits of AI. There's no human-to-human -human interaction needed. And this project is self-automated with smart contracts, AI-driven, on the blockchain, cloud computing. It's crazy. Like, I, I, I'm just so excited for this. Um, okay, so let us read here now the application marketplace providers. So application marketplace providers are the people who provide reusable components for building the decentralized applications and earn deep tokens. Application marketplace providers are required to stake or lock up a certain number of deep tokens. 
pro for providing reusable components, the more the number of the developers reusing their components, the higher the lockup scale and the deep they will earn. So once again, that's generating some great value for the tokens, guys. AI controller. Each node network contributor has a state in the network. The controller assigns each request's network user to the nodes. Some requests may have more complicity to run over the network. Controller. Sorry, over the network. Controller allocate these requests to run on sidechains or master nodes. In addition, adjusting the scheduling between tasks to make sure that there is no dependency between the current tasks. The controller saves results, make sure that every request run on the right cluster. Work on real-time request matching. More details about matching recommendation is in the technical section. So Deep Tokens. Deep Tokens is going to be launched as an ERC20 tokens in the, in the beginning. Since our development is not going to be implemented on the Ethereum network due to scalability issues, Deep Cloud AI is going to carry out a transition process with the tokens with the tokens when we have integrated with a much faster and scalable blockchain. Nebulous has been selected as the first blockchain. The value of Deep does not represent our development progress. Its price is driven by the set of the market. Obviously, the market drives the price. Everyone knows this. Um, there's no surefire tool of predicting, um, you know, how much one token is going to be, right? But I definitely like the fact that they, they said it right here. Um, you know, Deep Tokens is going to be launched initially on the ERC-20 tokens, which is the Ethereum's network. But uh, due to scalability issues, they definitely will have to transition off of that. So um, they know what they're talking about. We all know the problems Ethereum's facing. You know, CryptoKitties, that one single dap alone took down that network in terms of backlogs and having it all clogged up so um you know they, they, they are fully aware of the scalability issues the blockchain space is facing right now okay guys so let's go over a couple more things and then we're gonna go to the token metrics and look at the team and the roadmap guys and yes they do have an mvp well actually they're working on the mvp right now that is also known as a prototype or a um, minimum viable product so, okay guys, so technology view. The main idea of Deep Cloud AI is to build a self-organizing distributed network through AI. Deep Cloud AI focused on building a distributed cloud infrastructure based on blockchain instead of building a specific service such as unused storage. AI computing platform or database as a service, which were applied in Filecoin, Deep Brain Chain, and Bluezelly respectively. Those ICOs did very well as well, guys. This is an amazing category. Okay, so many challenges affect the performance of decentralized cloud infrastructure, beginning from syncing between nodes, matchmaking algorithm, scheduling criteria, so on and so forth. So, AI, so guys, okay, let's just fast forward here, right? So, um, Deep Cloud AI, why it's different from those other ones we just mentioned that are currently on the market is because it's an AI driven cloud computing infrastructure. Now, as we go down lower down here, they're talking about the main aspects of the controller is sharding. Okay, guys, you know how big sharding is right now. Sharding is taking over the blockchain infrastructure community by storm, taking over the industry by storm. We see the success what Zilliqa has, right? That was one of the first, if not, I believe that was the first sharding technology, um, you know, scalability ICOs to come out for blockchain infrastructure. And then we saw the likes of Quarkchain, another sharding technology that, that had mad hype. These guys are talking about sharding, computation power, all kinds of stuff, guys. So as a result, we categorize some application types into several clusters that could be run in each shard in the network, like sharding, computation power, games, IoT applications, storage, decentralized exchanges. Wow. Guys, this is huge. We are talking about harnessing computing power like no tomorrow. Okay, now let's go on to the team, guys. Okay, guys, so here is the team, the core team. So um, we got right here Max Ray, which is the um, CEO or Chief Executive Officer. Let's just check out his LinkedIn, guys, just to verify, make sure everybody here is legit and real. And um, yeah, I mean, this is his LinkedIn here. We got here CEO of Deep Cloud AI, AI-driven cloud edge computing. So over 10 years as CEO in the tech industry, managing large teams of enterprise IT networks. 
I've had the opportunity to work with some of the best in the industry providing solutions and overseeing implementations for future 500 companies. Building next generation decentralized and secure cloud infrastructure, cloud computing using the power of artificial intelligence on the blockchain. So, okay, Deep Cloud, University of California, Davis, see contact info, 500 plus connections, guys. So, guys, I highly recommend if you guys are interested, which you should be, man, you should be, get on this train. Come check out these, um, the team's LinkedIn, everything there, work experience. I actually just looked at Greta's, and she has quite the resume, in my opinion. Let's check this out here. Um, so, right here, we have her. Uh, AI deep learning and blockchain promoting AI for good CTO with 25 years of expertise in building resilient anti-fragile large-scale distributed platforms with 1 billion plus users for startups and fortune 500s built and launched 15 plus platforms and countless applications based on AI deep learning cloud computing blockchain Wow, that's impressive. Microservices, self-healing, what the hell? I think the CEO is lucky to have Greta on board. So we got here CT CTO Deep Cloud AI. Okay, so you know she's obviously the CTO as we just mentioned. Deep Cloud AI is building an AI-driven decentralized cloud computing platform. Then she got here CTO AI Practice Head Silicon Valley Software Group. Um, AI Practice Head. For SVSG Silicon Valley Software Group is an international group of chief technology officers, guys, who provide techno uh, sorry technology leadership services to companies of all sizes. That's crazy. Um, she definitely is an all star. So that's great. Hey guys, I and one thing what I like about this team, sometimes you see with ICO projects, it's like two people or four, but these guys got a nice team. Look, we got one, two, three, four. And look, this is these um, principal AI uh, cloud architect. We got the marketing officer here, head of development team, um, project manager director, business development manager. They got quite a team, you know what I mean, guys? Look, we got here Darren Karm, head of community management. Um, here we go, head of email engineering, full stack developer, blockchain developer right here, Yuri. Big up to Yuri! <laughs> got the devs in the house. Um, the Deep Cloud AI team and their advisors are very impressive, guys. Look, here it is the CEO of Nebulas, and we got Nanosec right here as well, man. Pretty cool stuff. I like what I see in their team. You guys passed. Unbelievable project. But, I mean, is this just an idea, guys? Is this just an idea? Or do these guys actually have a MVP? Let's check it out. So, let's go to the roadmap. So, in July 2017. Okay, the founders started scratching initial idea, formulating how AI and blockchain can um, realize the decentralized cloud. Deep Cloud AI was founded in November of 2017. April 2018, the first white paper was published. Early May 2018, platform design and architecture in the works. The white paper refined based on detailed platform designs guys but look where we're at right now let me just click that though so may 2018 we're actually in june but mvp design and development started for deep cloud ai fabric so right now guys the mvp is being tested it begins on deep cloud fabric so the mvp testing begins right now they are going to work the devs are going to work we've seen the team down here they are making this mvp to show to us that what they want to do is not just an idea but it's something that they're more than capable of executing and delivering guys that is very very important What's very important, guys, is we have a good team here. And in my opinion, this is a good team. It's not just one or two, three guys. It is a full team, okay? Um, second thing is an MVP. You have to have this. You have to show investors that you're capable of actually um, creating what you want to create, okay? You can't just base it off of an idea. So they're working on that. And the other one is obviously the token metrics. So let's head over to that right here. So token sale, guys, we're looking at it. It says here, the token sale will be issued in three sessions. So this is standard across the board in most ICOs. They have a private sale, a 
pre-seal and a public seal. The private seal has 25% bonus, guys, which is very standard, okay? The pre-seal, it was a 10% bonus. Okay, it's not listed here, but I saw 10% bonus. And then they have the public seal, right? So one deep is 25 cents. The soft cap is 8 million. Guys, look at this. The hard cap is 15 million. For this type of technology that's combining different forms of advanced technologies, so we got blockchain, we got cloud computing, we got AI, we got internet, I'm oh, sorry, we got web 3.0, all these things. For 15 million hard cap, that's all they're asking us for? My God, that, that, that's, that's pretty low. We have a lot of room to grow as investors and to profit off this, guys, okay? So right here, we only accept the fallen cryptocurrencies as a payment of uh, deep token sale which is Ethereum for now. Unsold tokens would be burned after the ICO, but believe you me, I don't think there are going to be any tokens unsold here. People are going to be all over this. Um, but if they, you know, if they happen to have, in the case, um, in the case that that presents itself, they would be burning tokens, which is all, always a good thing. Um, econo from an economic standpoint, that's a great thing. And right here is the token structure, guys. So the total supply is 200 million deep. Um, we got token allocation. So 40% is going to the crowd sale or to the public, guys. That is very, very cool. You know, we normally don't like to see a crowd sale where, you know, it's only 20% going out, right? That, that tells me a lot. That tells me that the company really has um, personal interest, right? Or a self-serving agenda. But these guys are giving us 40%. So, you know, we're getting the majority of the tokens um, in that regard. So here we go. 5% goes to advisors, 15% to the teams, 15% um, the bootstrap initiatives, 20% our reserves and 5% are for marketing expenses. That's all standard procedure. As you can see right here, for the crowd sale, 40%, majority of our tokens are offered for sale. As we believe that token ownership will encourage growth of the platform, our focus will be ensuring that tokens get into the hands of users who are holding long term, including institutional funds and public supporters of our project. Our token distribution plans will be announced separately once we have feasible technology demonstration. Unsold tokens will be burnt. Wow, wow, wow. Okay guys, before I end this video, let's go over a comparison chart of Deep Cloud in comparison to the other cloud computing coins currently on the market. And why are they better? As you can see right here, right off the bat, okay? So Vision AI driven cloud infrastructure, cloud marketplace, global decentralized uh, supercomputer, Okay, that's Golem, and then we got this one here is a universal GOG supercomputer. They don't have AI. So the benefit of having AI is very, 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 very simple, guys, okay? So with AI, you will be able to get far more accurate and intelligent suggestions based on your requirements. So you ask the computer something, it will be able to deliver it to you, deliver you the, um, the information or the data in a far more accurate and intelligent form, like if you're talking to a human being, okay? So that is very... That's a technology that's the future of the of the world as well. So they have that, Deep Cloud has that, and the rest of the companies don't. Platform, Deep Cloud's AI's network. This is um, a web hep, so I guess that's their own sort of like network. Golem's network and cocaine, I guess that's OSNM's network. Masternode, yes, no, no, hub nodes. Um, I guess no master in that department. Configurable nodes, yes, no, no, no. Another category, they just blow them out of the water. Um, then we got SaaS, so that's E, what's that stand for again? That's service, so software as a service, that's correct. So they have that, they have that, everyone has it across the board, okay, cool. IAAS, yes, yes, no, no. So, okay, so right here was this fog computation, that's kind of like, I don't know, that's old school anyway, so whatever, that's not a big deal. Um, these two have that, they don't. Um, they're in this department, yes. AI fair incentives, yes. The others, no, no, and no. Marketplace AI recommendation, yes, no, no, no. So guys, I'm gonna end this video right now. You know me, I don't like to make too long videos, but this video, I have to make an exception for that in that regard, only because this project is amazing, guys. This is not any cloud computing technology we've seen. This is a distributed cloud computing technology, similar to a distributed ledger technology we see in the blockchain. It's AI driven. They're um, partnering up with Nebulous, already established cryptocurrency, and the hard caps only at 15 million. So it's gonna enter the market severely undervalued, especially for this technology. Guys, it's your boy, the crypto lifestyle, giving you the latest of the latest. We went over the team. We saw the roadmap with the MVP currently in the makings right now to show us that they're more than capable of executing this project and this product guys i'm very excited 
It's your boy giving you the latest of the latest and hopefully the latest of the greatest. Guys, stay tuned to Deep Cloud. I will leave the official link to the Telegram chat at the bottom and also the link to the official website. We went over the team. We went over the roadmap where that shows that they're working on the MVP. We went over on the white paper here. We compared them to existing coins that's into the cloud computing industry as well. So there ain't really much left to say other than... Until the next video, you're on your own. Later. Wherever I go, it just goes with getting crypto.